pork chop smoke flavor. For the cut pork chop with bone in, I need to tenderize it by using my knife. And this is how I tenderize my, my meat by, uh, looks like pounding and cutting, but this one work rather than, you know, using the mallet, but this is work for me. I have one, I have one, two, two three, three, four, four, five, five, six, six pieces pork chop of with bone chop in that is been and with a little fat on it because with a fat little makes fat in there. Uh, a little then better I taste. am going to marinate and them. Now I have two tablespoons of Everglade seasoning that is mixed with salt spices msg uh, dehydrated garlic and onion sugar and poppin this is a basic basic uh seasoning for my pork chop and that's the way it looks my friend gave it to me from florida and I have also uh, like uh, one teaspoon of smoke flavor and uh, I have soy sauce and I have also uh, cooking oil. Cooking oil makes the meat tender when you broil them or when you fry them or when you season them. Now it's the time to season the pork chop. So I have that basin. It's a big bowl and I drop my pork chop and I add my cooking oil. And I just gonna uh, massage them a little bit just to uh, incorporate the oil with the meat. And it's kind of like uh, massaging them. And then I have my soy sauce. I'm going to add that. And then I'm going to add my smoke flavor. And then I have to uh, massage them again. It's like a massaging thing, you know. <laughs> and so all the uh, soy sauce, the oil, and the pla smoke flavor will be uh, cover all the meat. So that's what I'm doing. And after that, I have my Everglades seasoning and I just gonna uh, drop them in there. And then I have to uh, uh, mix them again, mix them all thoroughly until they are like uh, mix it all together. Then I gonna leave that marinated for 30 minutes. Then when it's ready to cook, I gonna cook my pork chop in my uh, air fryer. I just get the pork chop and line them up and that is small, small air fryer. It don't hold much, but it probably gonna hold like three pork chop in there. So just line them in up. And I cook them like 15 minutes on each side. 
So uh, after the top will cook, I have to uh, turn it over to the other side and cook it for another 15 minutes. So it's all over like 30 minutes. So here it is. It's cooked. It's easy and and it's indoor and I will enjoy this food and also my husband will enjoy it. Thanks for watching.